Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Um, it's Ms. Garza. I'm back. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at Jamboard today. So I'm gonna walk y'all through uh, some of the different things that we can do with Jamboard. Um, it's very fun and creative and interactive for the students. Um, they really enjoy using it, and I'll show you some examples here in a few seconds. Okay, so today um, I'm going to <clears throat> we're going to make some slides. I forget to. So I'm here at pay, uh, Teacher Pay Teachers, and I'm gonna I'm downloading some task cards that we're going to put into Jamboard. So I just completed. So I just completed my order um, on Teacher Pay Teacher, and I'm gonna use some of these task cards. I think what we're looking at right now is numbered pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that one first, and I'm gonna unzip it. Oh, it's still downloading. I'm going to download that one first. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to um, unzip it and extract the files, and I'm going to put them uh, into my Jamboard. Okay, so while that's still downloading, I'm going to go ahead and go to Jamboard. Okay, it automatically pops up. Google Jamboard. This is my personal Jamboard, let's go ahead and go to the school, my school account. Okay, you can see the students love using it. Um, every now and then I'll put in, um, we do our Lone Star warm up every morning or, or, you know, before, you know, every day we do Lone Star warm up. And so I put some of the slides into the Jamboard. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about um, putting, go ahead and putting, putting all my slides into Jamboard um, as of right now. I am only, I have only, I had only been using Google Slides for Jamboard. I mean, not for Jamboard, that's the wrong one. A Lone Star Digital Warm Up. Um, I've been using Google Slides um, for, um, for my digital Lone Star Warm Ups. Um, here's an example. This is Monday gold. This is week 13 Monday. So on that first slide I just put and um, I, the pictures are movable but everything else the background is set. That way every week all you have to do is switch out the pictures. Okay so there is um, that first slide it has all the well just these three cards right here and then, um, you know, then we have letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D, letter E. So we have A, B, C, D. And I kind of pre-set up, you know, what they need to do. So letter A, how many ones? So then we grab the five right here, and they would slide it over to right there. How many ones, right? Number seven, how many tens? So groups of tens. So, um... I like I like I like using that. It's fun and interactive for the students. It takes them a while at first, um, you know. But you know, with Lone Star Warm Up, it always takes them a while anyway, right? <laughs> so in this one, they just have to type in what they need to do. So that's ten thousand multiplied. I have them use the X by one plus. And then we, we just walk through all the steps, sorry. So I'm going to, so that's what I had been doing. Um, so sometimes on Jamboard, you know, if it's something, if it's something that we can, um, like they can start annotating and, you know, they want to start drawing and stuff. Um, I make a copy of the Jamboard for them and I put the proper slides that they might need. So then they can write out their problems. 21 multiplied by 4. So then we circle that one. The ones group. And we work that out. 4. And then we circle the other group in another color. So that's one 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 use that we can use um, Jamboard for. And of course, again, it took me back to my personal one. Excuse me. So I do make the Jamboards sometimes in my personal e uh, Gmail account and then I share it with my teacher account. So right now we're in science, we're looking at the solar system. And so uh, one, 
um, activity for the solar system is, is create your own planet, you know, so you can go and you create your own planet was part two here. And oh, and I even put some other slides in there that they, they, they can mess around with, you know, stuff like that. Um, this one here is a little bit more specific. This one was just more of a fun creative, but this one here, they're going to, um, identify the waxing and waning and, and the different moon phases. So they have their information right here. And then on the next slide, um, they have the directions, read each caption and follow the instructions of how to illustrate the moon phase shade in the moons appropriately. So number one, we have the new moon. The moon, the new moon is between the earth and the sun. We can see it at night, shade the entire moon. So they're gonna get their little pin over here. They would, some of them will probably grab a highlighter or a marker, they like to use markers, right? And they're just gonna color it up. That's gonna be too thin for them. They like to use the bigger ones, All right? They're gonna shade it in as best as they can, right? Nobody is perfect. Okay, then the waning crescent, the waning crescent, they're gonna read um, that information there and then they're gonna shade in that one as well. Okay, so, man, back to Jamboard. Uh, here's one, landforms. When we were studying landforms in science and social studies, um, their job was to create, draw a hill, okay? And they drew a hill there, a hill. Got some Grinch going on there. Um, Christmas. Answers personification. Some of these kids go way out of um, their job on this one was to draw a cave for the Grinch, right? Test prep task cards. We're looking at 3-5-E. We're looking at 3-5-E for um, our extended learning tutorials, tutoring after school. So, um, there we go. That was it. 3.5E. There it is. 3.5E, number pairs. Okay, so we're going to go into Jamboard. We're going to name it 3.5E, number pairs. Okay, so for Jamboard, you can create up to 20 slides. So we're just going to grab the first couple of pictures. Where did it go? Is it here? Oh, it went to Internet Explorer. I don't know. I don't even know why. Mm -hmm. Color print, color laminate. Okay, so you, um, I'm sorry, I did that fast. You hit the three buttons, Windows, Shift, S, Windows, Shift, S, like that. Then you go to your Jamboard. So my students, our students, are pretty familiar with Jamboard already. Okay, and we're, I'm doing, I'm choosing Jamboard because the students need to figure out what the rule is. Okay, the table below shows a total number of trees to be planted in the following number of rows. Right, number of rows one. There's going to be eight trees. Two rows. There's going to be sixteen trees. Four rows, there's going to be 32. Five rows, there's going to be 40. And then eight rows is going to be how many? So this is um, the input output table. So what the students are going to want to do is they're going to want to, I'm going to put this back at the pen or marker, and we'll do blue. Okay, they first want to figure out, they always look at that first um, column, right? Or section right there, one to eight. So they need to figure out what did we do to one to get to eight? Well, they can say, well, we either added seven or we multiplied times eight, right? Because we're trying to figure out the rule. Okay, so those are the two possible answers, right? 
then they can look at the next one and they say two, they follow the two rules, right? Two plus seven would make nine. That is not a nine right there, so that is not the correct rule. So they would scratch it out. Two times eight, would that be 16? Yes, it would. The rule is times eight. So then they would go, the you know, make sure it all follows eight, 16. Three times uh, eight is 24. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, right? 48, 56, 64. So then they would figure out what eight times eight, because that's the rule, and that's gonna be 64. So they can circle it there. But they would not, they would want to show their work eight times eight. Some of the kids are going to want to be very neat. Um, they want to try to be as neat as possible. It's going to take them some time sometimes, but um, once they get past that, <laughs> they'll get it'll it'll be it'll be fine. Okay, so that's the first slide, and you can oops. You can, um, the arrow, you can move them to one side. That way they can show all their work on the right side. You can have it on the left side. However you choose, let's look at number two, which is over here. Control, um, not control. Windows, shift, S, doggone it. Windows, shift, S, right there. Or slide number two on the jam board. So right here, control V. While it's still loading, you can just move it to where you want it and you can stretch it out. Third one. And it seems it's it's a lot of front loading, but I mean once you have all your stuff done and ready for the year then you're good to go for the next year and the year after that and the year after that. Okay, slide number three, we have card number three. Slide number four, we're gonna put card number four. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and um, I went to the wrong one. <laughs> we'll finish this up and um, edit this video and um, that's one way you can use Jamboard so the students can show their work and you know when there's coloring and stuff like that it's it's very fun interactive and interactive for the students to use they really enjoy Jamboard they see a Jamboard in an assignment and they're like yes <laughs> they love it <coughs> Okay, so just to show you, um, alrighty, so just to show you some examples of some student work, um, right here we have some mountain forms, uh, land forms that some students had created. We have um, mountains right here, right there. And we have some book covers. One of the student projects um, or assignments was to design their own book, what their book would be about, and all of that. So we have a dinosaur here. Somebody just put a bunch of bright colors on that one. Um, Joe Bright, the book. One of my favorites was the onomatopoeias. Let me see if I can find any. Is this oh John Island? So they drew some islands right here. You know, some we have some artists that are going to be a little bit better than others. You know, everybody's trying. Here we go, we're practicing multiplication and um, maybe some division. Oh, they're making equal groups. All right, this one used tally marks. K, M, J, J, C, L. <laughs> maybe they put the initials of their friends, you know. All right, this one was a number line or something. All righty. Some landforms, we have some hills, there's a plateau right there. There's a mountain. Uh, some uh, onomatopoeia, they were supposed to do some onomatopoeias. I think I have some up here, let's see. Oh, there's a plateau. 
That was my example. <laughs> There's somebody's onomatopoeia. I think they, well, they grab their ideas from there. Bang, right? Crash. So it's this one. Oh, somebody was showing their math work. Um, so here's where we used strip diagrams. And the students, you know, were able to break apart and stuff like that. Alliteration, this one was not mine. Um, one of the students wrote it. Santa says you have some sadness, so he will give you an extra surprise. Ooh, that one melted my heart. Yeah, so that is how uh, you can use, oh, here's a, back to the task cards that I was working on. So, uh, like I said, you only get 20 cards. And those are all of them, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and all of that. I have a personal Google Classroom that I just use for a sandbox to test things out. And so one thing you can do is, you know, when you're creating an assignment, um, create, let's just say we're doing the moon phases, right? The moon phases, you can... Create from your Google Drive right here. And if you're using Google Classroom, you just put it straight into the Google Classroom right here. And if you're using Canvas, which is what we use, um, you can put it into your Canvas as well. Okay, so we are in my Canvas homepage right here. Uh, I'm going to go to Modules. We just completed week 17. But I am going to go ahead and put the assignment at the end of that week, this particular week. Let everything load. Okay, I'm going to new assignment. Mm -hmm. Right there, the new assignment is going to be task cards. Tag. For practice. I'm going to indent it three levels. And there it is at the bottom right here. I'm going to click on it to edit it. Okay. Uh, you can grade it however you want, letter grade, points. I generally do my task cards as, you know, checking for a completion, complete or incomplete. I'm going to click the URL, control copy, control V, find. Scrolling down to Google Assignments, LTI 1.3. Making sure it is logged in with my school account. I'm going to attach my file. And my file is right here. Each student will get a copy, create. Okay, and then save and publish. Fingers crossed it's going to work. And there it is. The assignment is ready to go. You can uh, you know that it's there because it says one file is attached. You can even click on it and it'll show you what the file is and that each student will get a copy. Okay, so that is how you can use Jamboard in Google Classroom. Well, actually, that's. Anyways, in Google Classroom or in, in Canvas, and um, like I said, the students really like it. Um, they enjoy using Jamboard. They like coloring. They're very creative with it. They're finding their element, you know, so <laughs> on the monopoeia, and let me draw a heart, <laughs> you know. So um, it's up to um, you how you want to use Jamboard. It is, it is a very good tool to use. Or this is right where we assigned it in Google Classroom and then we linked it to a good Jamboard. That way they could, um, you know, to show their work and, you know, do the annotations and stuff like that. So, um, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this lesson uh, or this, this little, uh, video. Um, and, uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. 
if you have any ideas or more suggestions or you you want you know you you have a suggestion as to what other video you would like for me to to create to show you um what we could possibly do for virtual learning uh, let me know and uh, i will get back to you as soon as i can all right have a great day bye